I know with bushcraft, uh, a lot of times people get very, very wound up on gear. I love having high quality gear and a lot of it's high dollar gear. But just because you don't have a lot of money does not mean that you can't get out to the woods and enjoy yourself. <clears throat> Even if it's just for an afternoon or just an overnight. There's lots of uh, budget gear that you can get uh, that will perform just as well most of the time as a lot of the expensive gear you get. You can even make a lot of it on your own. Uh, for this uh, little video I just want to cover some of the shelter options of uh, some of the bushcraft gear that you can get. Survival gear for your kit. This could be for a get home bag. Um, it could be just for a bag that you keep in your vehicle for emergencies. There's some pretty uh, low dollar stuff you can keep in there to help you out and I'll be going over some of those options here in this video. One of the cheapest things you can get for your kit is just a standard poly tarp. Uh, this one's been out in the woods for quite a while. They have grommets for attaching stuff. You can see this one is beat up really, really bad. But like I said, it's been laying out here for a while. Uh, you can get them on sale usually for, I don't know, five, six bucks. It depends on the size. Uh, they're okay, uh, but they don't pack up real small. Another option I think everybody should have in their kits is several of these contractors bags. Uh, they are these are three mil heavyweight ones. You get 20 bags for about six or seven bucks. All right, pull out, undo them. From there, take my knife, and I can use these for more stuff besides shelter too. All right, right here is my sealed edge. You can use scissors if you want. I want to cut that through. And if you cut this right, you can actually use it for a little tie strap to actually a little piece of cordage. I can open this up and it makes like a tube. Right? If I cut along one of the seams, it ends up being a pretty big sheet. Now if I take two of them, I can actually make a tarp out of it. Now I'll unfold this tarp and show you a little bit more about it, but that's another option you can do, is using two of these to make a tarp. Another option <coughs> is just getting a plastic drop cloth. Uh, this one I got at um, Wally World, $2.97 for $3. All right, you can have a piece of two mil, the other ones are three mil, this is two mil. A piece of uh, material that's nine foot by 12 foot. Pretty good price. This clear plastic can be used for a lot of different options also. So that's another good option you could have. Emergency space blanket. All right, those things, these are about uh, $2. A great piece of uh, gear to have in almost any kit. You should have two or three of them in about any kit. Same with those trash bags. Like I said, two or three of them, one of those tarps. You know, I mean, you're not even getting up on 10 bucks for a lot of this stuff yet. But these are great shelter options also. Cordage. Quite a few options out there. This is just uh, regular nylon cord that uh, came on a 40 foot spool for $1.37 at Walmart. Uh, are you going to be able to hold up the world with it? No. Repel with it? No. But, you know, it's good enough to put up a shelter. It's good enough for most of your lashing stuff. I have it cut into a line kit. I have about uh, four three foot pieces here and then I got some uh, six foot pieces to go with that and that should be enough to put up one of the shelters. You also have uh, Mason's twine. Uh, you can also go with the tarred bank line option with this. That tarred bank line kind of smells bad. It can make your gear smell bad. It can get on your gear. But hey, if that's what you're into, whatever. So this stuff is pretty good. If this isn't strong enough, you can always take it and braid it together and make it thicker, so that's another good option. And then there's always the duct tape option because we can use that for a lot of things. And I'll show you how to use this duct tape and some of this other stuff to actually uh, have a tarp that you can carry with you. So I told you I'm going to show you how to make this tarp, right? So to start off with, a little bit of duct tape goes a long ways. I'm going to get a piece of my duct tape. What I want to do is make a tie-off point. Take off about a foot or so. I want to make a tie-off point to where I can tie my cordage onto. And this is a pre-made deal, you're going to do it at home. I'm just going to put it on that corner like that, press it down real good. 
All right, then I'm going to take it, and I'm just going to pinch it on itself and fold it off, and it'll be just two sticky sides are together. I'm going to flip it over, leave it as a loop coming out. And what that gives me is a loop to tie in a piece of cord. So I've got my cord here. Make a bite, put a girth hitch on it. All right. Now I'm pulling on that pretty hard. That's not going to come undone under normal circumstances. All right, so I have a tie off point for this tarp now. Now I'm going to take two of these pieces of plastic because these garbage bags are like uh, two foot nine inches by four foot. So you're going to have over eight foot uh, tarp here when we're done and double that, you know, pretty close to an eight foot by eight foot tarp ish. And I'll show you how we put the rest of that together. All right, Ugh. three, two, one. So you can see how big this tarp ended up being. All right, it's about eight foot, and I'm, my math was off before. All right, and almost six foot, a little bit under six foot. So eight foot by six foot tarp, and you can make approximately 10 of these out of that box of, uh, trash bags and you can use them for other stuff too like I said so this is a great option if you just want to try out this type of uh, outdoor activity all right these things pack pretty darn small all right I got my four corners on them that I can tie off with I made those tie offs on them I will be doing a video, the next video out will be on putting these up, making shelters out of this stuff that I showed you. This is a real quick pull job. I didn't take a whole lot of time to pack that up, but you can see that's pretty small. Definitely small enough to fit inside your pocket. So there's a lot of good options out there. This is one of them. Uh, like I said, the next video I'm going to do, I'll put up some of these and show you some different types of shelters that you can do with just the materials that we showed.